All right, my students, it's time to check out line number 12, take five. So the reason it's called take five is check it out with the rhythm, four quarter notes plus a whole note, you tongue five times in a row. See that every two measures, four quarter notes, whole note, four quarter notes, whole note. I think that's why it's take five, all right? So let's count and clap. One, two, ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, one. 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 Ooh, while you were counting, did you see what happens in the second half there, like measure five and seven? You get to change notes in the middle of a measure on those quarter notes. Woohoo! All right, so that being said, a good way that I actually like to practice this one is to break it down into the two measure pieces, okay? That gives our brain, eyeballs, fingers kind of a chance to just focus on those small parts before we try to put it together, all right? Because if we just try to blow through this, we might not be very successful. So a good practice or rehearsal technique, break things down into smaller pieces or chunks, okay? So let's look at the first two measures for our notes. We get four quarter note Ds, and then we get to lift up and jump up to F, right? So let's stay and finger those first two measures. One, two, just the first two. D, 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 F. Not too bad, just getting to lift fingers, right? Okay, so let's look at the next two measures, three and four. Remember, those are all E flats, and you have to do a quick change to D. See that? All right, let's try to say and finger measures three and four. One, two, say it, here we go. E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, D. Okay, now if you feel pretty good about those four measures, you can try putting the first half together. So let's say measures one through four. One, two, beginning. D, 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 F, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, D, right? Not too bad. But now let's look at measures five and six because here, check it out. You're changing in the middle of the measure. You're changing to the D on beat three, right? So F, F, D, D, E flat, Okay, so let's try to stay and finger those two measures. Again, this is measures five and six. One, two, say it. F, F, D, D, E flat. How'd you do? You skip down to D, right? F to D, and then change to E flat. Let's say it again. One, two, same two measures. F, F, D, D, E flat. All right, and if you feel comfortable with those two, let's look at the last two where they go F, F, E flat, E flat, down to D. Let's say it, one, two, last two, say it. F, F, E flat, E flat, D. All right, and just like we did with the first half, let's say the second half measures five to the end, five through eight. So back on F, one, two, say the second half. F, F, D, D, E flat, F, F, E flat, E flat, D. Now, if you find that there's two measures in there that you still need some work on, hit pause. And again, make yourself feel really comfortable on those measures before moving on, okay? But again, breaking things down in those smaller pieces can make it a little bit more manageable for you to focus on, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the fog version of the full line 12, if you're ready for it. Practice that quick breath too, right? And one, two, let's fog. Right, 
So again, if you find that you're having some trouble somewhere, stop and fix it before you try to play the whole thing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and play for you line number 12. One, two, Break it down, slow it down, whatever you need to do, okay? Good luck.